literally like five miles from my house and I'm into this, into the lanes. I love it. This is Bracelet, or Chart Lane it's called. A little toe tickly warm up, you know? Gets the blood going, I love it. It's just nice to be in nature. For me, a perfect ride has got to be one where there's got to be some climbing. I fancy myself as a bit of a mountain goat. I didn't always. Um, so coming out from where I am, go down Bedlestead Lane, head towards Pilgrim's Way, down Hogstroth Hill, up Chart Lane, which we did earlier on, Toys Hill, um, and then up Ide Hill to here. And I always have this thought in my mind, like whatever goes up must come down. So. I love going up for the very fact that I know that I'm going to have that descent. I'm going to feel the wind in my hair, in my face. <laughs> and um, feel like a kid again, you know, like that sense of freedom, that sense of joy, that ability to explore. I've been coming this way for like years, not, not all the time, but every now and then when I know I've got a set amount of time that will get me here. And for me, like the view, overlooking Bow Beach, um, looking out towards Hever Castle is phenomenal. Like on a clear day, like the vista just spans, it feels like forever and forever and it just gives you that sense of perspective. And I chose it today as my perfect ride because actually about what, eight months ago I came and normally when I ride, like if I'm not with people, I'll stop and I'll take pictures and I'll do all that sort of stuff. But in May last year, I came and I tried to do it and I really couldn't. And it was just the weekend after um, George Floyd had died. And I really just wanted to clear my head and I couldn't, I really couldn't. I didn't want to take any pictures. I was in this funk and I just felt so low, really, just really low. And it was at that time where I came up with the idea that I needed to do something, like I wanted to come off the bench and participate in being the change that I wanted to see. And, and that's when Ride for Unity kind of really hatched as an idea to bring people together, to celebrate our diversity as cyclists, and celebrate our unity as well. Yeah. Cycling, I mean, sometimes gets a bad rep for not being inclusive and not being diverse, but at the level I operate at, which is not professional at all, it is recreational more than anything else, weekend warrior at best. The, the camaraderie and the support from the community is amazing. Like, you could go anywhere in the world, I feel. Like, if you have a bike and you rock up somewhere and someone else has a bike, you're instantly pals. And I think they see you first and foremost as a cyclist and then a human being, but the colour that you are, the size that you are, the shape that you are, the set, it doesn't, none of that matters. And I love that about cycling and the way that we just look out for each other. And I've had some of the funniest times, like, riding with people where you know, you're suffering on the hills and stuff, but then you're just having such a laugh and you laugh so much that your insides hurt and your face is like cramping up because you're just cracking up so much about the, the most innocuous and silly things, really. It's about that experience, not just the surroundings and what you see, but like the food that you get to eat, the coffees that you get to have, the chat, the laughter, and I'd really love for more people to be able to experience it. Really. Ooh, yeah. Literally, you can't help but feel recharged when you do this. Even in the cold. <laughs> Even in the cold.